Cool. Jim Milky. All right. I'm not putting walkie. <laughs> I'm getting dyslexic, dude. Milwaukee. Dude, I just put that M upside it's down. Am I getting native, dyslexic? It's Native American for <laughs> Is that what that means? The good land. Dude, I just I just I just Water meant to write an M and blood. I put a W. <laughs> uh oh. Is it because of the bang drinks? I've been drinking them too. Might be. Uh oh. Let's kick this Are thing we off. are we okay, are we ready? Yeah. We're good to go. On this <clears throat> I'm gonna probably come around and get some extra shots on this one too. Cool. All right. And five, four, th- oh, hold on. Sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Banks. We are down here at the Native Store. I got the tribe with me. Nelton. What up? What's going on? Good, sir. So uh, you are listening to uh, Jay Banks and Friends from Native TV, and we've got a special guest in the house uh, because we are all consumed in this product or, or most of us are or at least talking about it um bang energy drink bang! <laughs> and uh and i see he's already drinking he's already got that energy but uh, we want to bring an expert in uh so Ooh. we we brought in our guy tim milky from uh supplify yeah. what's going on good sir great to be here man Thanks yeah man me. i appreciate you coming in he was he yeah. was he was on time literally <laughs> like, i wasn't like ding, ringing the door. Do you just want us to o'clock. throw that out there so everybody knows I wasn't on time for today. You're only oh, like 45 minutes late. Oh school. God. No, it's all good. So it's all like good. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> we had some fun, but uh, but yeah, dude. So uh, we want to talk about this whole bang thing because um, a lot of people are drinking it, and there's a lot of talk going around about the um, uh, effects it has. It's taking over the construction sites. Is it really? Oh my God, these guys are all jazzed up on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotton it's, candy. It's funny too. Unicorn seeing, piss. See, <laughs> seeing like construction workers walk around with like a pink uh, energy can that blatantly looks like a female's energy drink, right? To me, at least, uh, you know, with with the colorways of the. It matches a nice OPI nail polish. I, you, you are correct, man. <laughs> I I would agree with that, and um and and shout out to to Nathan for uh for for throwing some money down right before the episode uh, so we can try some varieties of this trivial. this stuff it's trivial um and and I'm, i you know i'm i'm a part of it man i've i started drinking them and then you know my wife started uh, telling me you're going to you're going to die you know you're gonna, What do you think gonna... about them um they're uh you know they're not they're, they're not as uh i feel like they're not as potent as um I'm going like to drink one and... on air because I have taken pre-workout real creatine. And isn't that the whole... And that's that's one of the conspiracies is and, they're, yeah. they're getting sued for not having creatine uh, in their drink, which they're, they're blatantly... Oh, I believe it because right. if you drank six creatine beverages in a day, your heart would explode. Well, I think more from the caffeine than the creatine. Yeah, pro- yeah. well, yeah, that's why. Is he's it the is pro. a is that is that the main <laughs> thing? Is is the cat this a high caffeine? Yeah, there's like three hundred milligrams per can. And then, it, it, I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm probably like most of uh, most of society. I don't I don't really know what most of the calorie content and all that means. Um, can you explain that a little bit? Well, first thing people need to know is that when they call this an energy drink, it's kind of like. I don't want to say false advertising, but it's a little bit misleading mm-hmm. because calories are energy. That's what gives you real energy. So when you take one of these 300 milligram caffeine drinks, it's like a, it's just a stimulant effect. It's not like you're getting. It's just a boost of right, like nit- right. you know, like like nitrous in a car. It's, yeah, exactly. You know, it's not doing anything yeah. for the engine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good to know, man. I didn't know that. Um, so, I mean, you'll feel charged from it. Obviously, that's what caffeine does. I want to see if I can taste some real creatine in it. Okay, well, let's... Because, I mean, you know the taste of cre... Like, you can tell when you're drinking... Creatine's cre- pretty bland. But, I mean, you can tell when you're drinking... It's like the... Usually it has, there's like, like, a chalky substance. Or, usually it's like kind of gritty. Like, yeah. it, in the old days, man, like, this is back when I was, like, 14, 15 years old when I first started taking creatine. You, you mix it with orange juice or grape juice or something, and you could just tell it was in there. It, just, it was, like... Yeah, you know, like, like, a mouthful down. of sand. What flavor yeah. is that blue? Uh, that is blue ras. Yeah, let me let me let me hit blue ras. That's good. Ras. I've that's, had it before. That's probably I've had most of these. That'll go well with Cabernet, I think. That was that was the last <laughs> one on the list. I actually pulled the Pina Colada as well, just to uh, throw a little curveball in there. So, um, uh, we have on deck. We have cotton candy. Um, There's bubbles. And uh, and Nathan just poured the blue ras right now. It's clear. It's clear. I, I can smell it from here. Any, it uh, smells. 
It smells like one of those uh, New York seltzer waters. Yeah, yeah. They don't use any artificial colors in here, which I do like about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the, it's not FDA approved. We know that I, right. I've done the research, which is, is pretty insane. Uh, w- once you start looking into everything that's going on with the product, um, it does have that like syrupy, like you remember the red line products. Oh God. Those were VPX. Ter- terrible. That's, that, that's their brand. That's, yeah. that's the VPX same company. Owns bang. Oh, yeah. it tastes, yeah, yeah. It tastes like that syrupy, that syrup. You think so? A little blue? bit. Oh man. That's that, what it reminded me God. of. Are you talking about like what was yeah red line? Yeah, the red line trains. Oh, I'm right? good right now though. Um, they had the one I think it was called Meltdown. It came with like a little syringe. Oh, there was a dr- that came with the dropper. Yeah, that was called you're gonna. That was called you're gonna work out and puke. Yeah. That's what that was called. Yeah. And they had something called Clenbuterex or something, and they were all strong, but they tasted horrible. So so Bang Energy. So so they came. <laughs> Hi, babe. Uh, my babe's in the... In I the, think she wants a Bang Energy drink. Oh, uh, no. She's going for a run. She's probably not bringing the dog either. I wouldn't. No. One of those guys down the river might eat him. No, he'd protect her, I'm man. just joking. Chuck, Dayton's a nice place. Chuck's, Chuck's a good dog. <laughs> um, so Bang Energy drinks, man. So when they came out, um, I, 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 like I said, I did a little research. Um, it was uh, the patent for the super creatine was filed in um, April of 2010. And it was approved in 2013. So as of 2013, they uh, they they had the the patent for super creatine, which is which is basically the liquid version of creatine. And they're saying that no one else has uh, created it before. That was their idea. Um, it's a little different than just calling it liquid creatine. It's okay. Super creatine is it's creatine bonded with the branch chain amino acid L-leucine. Okay, and that that's what you said. Which is in the, the ingredient BCAA. list on here. Right, right. So it's there's I mean, quite frankly, there's nothing special about it. Okay. And, I mean, in order for it to actually have to become a different product, mm-hmm. it there has to be some kind of catalyst to turn it into something else. Like, something different, right. Yeah. So gotcha. say you have like a yellow Lego brick and a red Lego brick and you put them together. Mm-hmm. They're still red and yellow. Right, right. And if you add heat, heat as your catalyst, then it's going to melt into something different. Okay. Same concept here. They're basically just taking two things and putting them together, and then calling it something crazy. Got you. So that, yeah. so that, so that, that's a good, um, uh, a, 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 a good way to talk about what's going on with their. Uh, um, I'm having a, I'm having a brain fart here, man. <laughs> God damn it, Jay! I you know, need some dude. bang. <laughs> yeah, actually, I haven't tried it Give yet. Give me some of that yeah. mental clarity. It, did you like it? No. I just blew ass. It reminded me of throwing up on the bridge and running. Wow. So I don't, yeah, I'm not We should it. have a spit I can't. I, I can never drink red line, <laughs> that red line. If I smell it, I might gag. I don't think they make it anymore. I think it's outlawed in 37 countries. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't sue me, red line. I just threw some that away. Was that was a joke. Upstairs. Com- <laughs> comedian freedom. freedom. Yeah. So, so what I was trying to say was um, they're... Bang is is uh, they lost the the patent, right? And, and a lot of people don't know that. So the reason why they're getting sued was in October of 2018, uh, another company called Thermo Life came in and said, um, uh, "We've already created this, and it's called uh, 077 is is what is what they they named it. Um, they got a they've got a patent in Russia and they've got a patent here in the United States." So um, they challenged it. They actually called the U.S. Patent Office and said, look, I, we want you guys to revisit this. Isn't that what Ivan Drago took? I'm pretty sure that's what they were shooting him up with. <laughs> yeah. I'm almost positive. That's what Ru- Ivan Drago The Russians took. are always way ahead with their drugs. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. In, in Russia, it's called the 645 patent is, is what their, their name Old for that Old 645. One is. <laughs> <laughs> so in uh, in Thermal Life, they're uh, they're the world's leader in patent ingredients and technology for use in dietary supplements. Oh. So they have over like four hundred different um, ingredients or different um, um, uh, products out there that that they're you know they're already producing for other companies. So uh, that was the reason why the patent got pulled from from Bang as of October of two thousand eighteen. So they're still advertising it on the can. With the lovely patent right there, 
I kind of feel like the patent office dropped the ball big time on that. Don't you think they would notice? Like, when does the government office not drop the ball? That's a great point, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they uh, w- what they said was it was the exact same ingredients yeah. um, as as what they did. So what, that's what I was trying to say, what you were talking about earlier, was it was the same ingredients. They just called it something insane, like 077. Oh, I got you. All right. Okay. So instead of like, instead of oh, naming 045. it super creatine. Okay. You know, so, so when they still, create, still seems like somebody didn't do their due, dil- due diligence. For sure. Yeah. For sure. So, uh, so they actually got it pulled from them as 2018. So they're still advertising it. So there's a bunch of lawsuits that, that are, that are pending with bang for that. Um, and then Monster came out with their own ener- energy drink to compete with. Rain. 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 Rain yeah, yeah. Which, which is uh, oddly enough is, um. Sponsored by Rim and Rains. I'm just oh, joking. I don't know. I'm just uh, joking. Rain That's is not true. Rain don't is already me. trademarked. <laughs> oh yeah, by fucking VPX. Oh, I just said yep. the F word. I'm sorry, all you. That's okay. That's the, that's the only one. I mean, we're getting way better than the first season for sure. <laughs> so that's cool. But yeah, so VPX. What he was saying is this bang. is like a really bad Jerry Springer episode. No, and there's no fights yet. No, I'm just saying, like between VPX and Monster and the Bang and the oh, Rang. it's getting, it's going to get crazy because Bang, uh, Monster sued Bang three times; they've been unsuccessful. Now Bang is suing Monster because they already own the trademark um, to the to the name Rain in a, a pre workout. R e i g. I'm gonna put R-E-I-G. lemon juice and water and patent it called superhero water. You could probably do that. Yeah. You think I get a buck and a quarter for it? Probably. I think yeah. I got something here. We can make that happen. Yeah. We need to get Tomas down here with that alkaline water. Ooh. You get a good enough marketing department, you'd make a lot of money. You know what? Too. I said this to somebody the other day. A lawyer could argue it either way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so Bang is, is, they came out of nowhere, man. And uh, they, they've, they've definitely put a dent in the market. I'm sure Red Bull's seen, seen a little mm-hmm. effect from it. But, um, you know, when when rain came out, they came out with the exact same drinks as as bang. Like here we've got the cotton candy. Uh, they've got carnival candy. Uh, we have uh, sour heads over there. They've got sour apple. Um, you, we just tasted the blue raz. They got rat. I'm more of a like a coffee, water and wine guy. I should have bought. They had a cookies and, and then whiskey occasionally. They have a cookies and cream one. Yeah, what? they had a wow. cookies. And, I should have picked that, that one up. I, I grabbed the pina colada instead. And it's all natural flavors. I haven't seen that one yet. Where did they dissect the essence of a fucking Oreo? That's how those uh, artificial flavors. That's how they use them. Wild flavors. Yeah, yep. yeah. The companies like that. That's yep. what they do. Keep coming up with different flavors. I don't know how they make them. It's all chemical made, but it's crazy. Yeah. And that, that's local. That's over there in yeah, like Hebron. Yeah, right down on the bottom of two seventy five. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, so they've got over 22 flavors and, and growing, man. So, I mean, they're not, you know, these, these lawsuits and everything. I mean, and there, there's a lot of lawsuits that that are yeah. pending with this company. As the industry itself has always got a lot, a lot of lawsuits. Yeah, Energy dude. drinks. No, I, just the supplement industry yeah. itself. Yeah, I've come across some crazy stuff, like people taking over the counter stuff. Like, oh, I had liver failure, almost well, died. What can what can you say? Uh, I'll tell you the ingredient it was use nick acid, U S N I C. What was it in? Um, it was some kind of fat loss product, but they called it, they called usenic acid an uncoupling agent, which I believe it means it like it's supposed to do something with fat cells to like make them easier to burn. Okay. But yeah, one of the side effects was like this girl ended up going, I don't know if she died or not, but she had liver failure from it. So That's sort of like, that. the, I just wonder if when we're 50 years old, if there's just going to be like huge expansive people are like, oh yeah, you got caught in that Red Bull plague. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> probably be something be uh, like oh those are the kids of the 2000s they got that dying. yellow five yeah. disease <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna have to drink this at the end of it we're gonna mix them all together Ugh. i think we should take it down to the river and then get two ten dollar bills and then do some bum fights there, there is something else that I have to say. Um, it it is not flammable. There there's a rumor going around on Facebook that that the stuff is flammable. Um, oddly enough, I tried it myself. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at it like what would make someone. I'm think not taking another sip. You saw my one. I'm good. No man, we got we have to go through the whole the whole spiel here. I mean, we're probably at what 16, 17 minutes already. 
Yeah, see? Oh, man. You're going to make me drink these? This is, open it up. Open it up. This, open this it is up. peach mango. Did, I haven't tried peach. I'll try okay. that one. Which one do you want? Oh, by the way, shout out to Mark Borison. Yeah, man. he's holding it down for us. Yeah, so so if the camera views look a lot better, it's because of him. If it doesn't look wasn't better, because of anything we did. It's because <laughs> of him. Definitely nothing Nathan did. Definitely, I was late too. If they didn't, <laughs> so I can remind you. Guys. That smells. I was late. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know. What is this? Peach. Peach mango. Mm. This one. This one doesn't smell like acidic. Like. Uh, mm. Like that other one. It smells like peaches. It smells like seltzer water again. Coming through. That one's a, that one's a little bit easier to drink. Marky Mark, you want one? Yes, sir. Coming through. <laughs> All right. Um, and we should uh, we should talk about some of our sponsors, huh? We've got. It's not too bad. It has like a weird peach flavor. Let me try it. I was going to give a shout out to uh, to Slow Down Wines because those guys keep sending us the, the best stuff on earth, man. <laughs> their wine is really good. Straight out of Napa Valley. Plus, their commercials are Can insane. Can I open a bottle or am I, sure, or am I going to get beat up by your wife? She uh, likes the Slow Down Wines. Uh, open up one of the, one of the Chardonnay, the Broken Dreams, man. That thing's in- Chardonnay. I'm a Dago. I drink red. What are you? <laughs> okay. What the shit. Expand your horizons. Come on. <laughs> yeah, let's. Pinot let, Grigio. <laughs> let's let, let's bust open a bottle of the Standout wines then. Ooh. Standout, man. That's the that's the that's a good. One. You like wine, don't you, Mark? Oh yeah. Yellow man. snails get out of here. Slow Down Wines has they have the best commercials, man. You got to go to YouTube and just type in like Slow Down Wines S L O. D O W N wines and uh, their commercials are hilarious, dude. It's like wine for people who like pizza and pot or, <laughs> you know, can we talk so about why wine, people wine need for energy everyone. drinks? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. Why do people need energy drinks to just get up and do something? I think it's because everybody's so addicted to coffee. Do you and drink it? Do you drink? General. Yeah, but I mean, I right. get I get my coffee on. I drink my cup, and sure. then, that's, then that's that. And then you get your next cup ne- tomorrow morning. Did you know, this one? I've never been like that, man. You like, don't like I, coffee? I like, well, yeah, I do. But I'm saying there's a glass like, right over there. I don't. Know, I think I'm pretty addicted to caffeine. Like I, I enjoy one, it throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. It, has, it has very little effect on me anymore unless I drink a ton of it. Or if you don't drink it, then you get a headache probably. Yeah, I'm kind of. That's kind of why I still drink it because I'm afraid of the soul crushing headache that I'm gonna get from withdrawal. Hmm. <laughs> that was the peach mango. That's pretty good. It's not bad, right? Yeah. Um, I actually I, I was watching a YouTube video and some guy was talking about the the peach version from Rain and he he said it was it was tastes like he was biting into a peach. Yeah, I definitely didn't get that from the bang. No, he does he didn't even compare it the two because oh, because it, this this one has like a mango finish on it or something. That's what I was tasting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got down that 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 shot. <laughs> Which one was that? Glass. That was a peach that was mango. A peach. We finished that peach. Did you already finish? Come on, I didn't put that much in there. I gotta drink the whole thing. Yeah, dude. Mm. Or, or or pour it in the slop cup, and then we're gonna roll <laughs> dice on who, <laughs> who has fights. to drink it. Here it comes. All right, what's next on the list, man? Cotton candy, unicorn piss. Someone's gonna turn into the Toxic Avenger when they <laughs> just, drink. Just that. so everybody knows, it's actually called Unicorn Rainbow. Unicorn Rainbow, yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. called Unicorn Piss. <laughs> VPX yeah. didn't come out with anything called Unicorn Piss. It, to, to me, that one tastes like uh, uh, like fifties bubble gum, like the original. I will not be drinking flavor. that. I never took bubble gum medicine as a kid. Oh man, yeah, we're not, definitely never tastes like bubble gum. It's like we strawberry are definitely protein making drinks. They him. always they oh, never taste like no. strawberry. Is it that pink and blue freaking can over there? Yeah. yeah, there it is. <sighs> Your favorite one. So, which one are we doing? You I'm gonna like stick to producing if you guys keep abusing me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like sour apple because it's sour head. Let's go good. for it. Right. Right, open that one up. Yeah, yeah. I'll hit the sour apple. This was actually the first one I tried. That's uh, sour heads, right? Yeah. Sounds like a commercial. <laughs> right. Coming through. All right. Don't be going crazy. Just a little bit. I think you'll like that one. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Double dose. No, he's not gonna like this one either. Salut. <laughs> hey. He might fucking throw this one up. There's, mm. there's the second f bomb. 
Did, what, did I say? Oh, you said it, not me. It's all right. We're getting better. Oh, no, I can't do that, my man. Cool. Mm. What do you think? I think they stole some green flavoring from an airhead. I think that's where is I, that is that what they're trying that to make like airhead too? green. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what I figured by the name Sourheads too. They were going after like that airhead flavor. Okay. Yeah, I could see that. I don't think it jives very well. Though. Man, I'm gonna have to go eat some veal parmesan to wash all this shit out of my mouth. <laughs> you gonna go down to, to Giovanni's? <laughs> There's a good chance of that. Man, <laughs> they I'm got like, red wine there and veal parmesan. These. Bubblegum flavored energy drinks. Dude, I'll be, be drinking. I'll be down for that. Yeah, we were not going to be going to bed for a while now, obviously. Just drink more red wine. Counterbalance. Hey, shout out to Santino, man. Sorry sorry he couldn't be here, but um, we uh, we had to. So are you. Mm. We had to use his CDs uh, for. Uh, Don't tell him that. Santino. What up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> no, no we, have, no, we have his CDs scattered out. I mean, you'll be able to see it. Down there, and we love him. We're not we're not ruining him on uh, any of them. We're just marketing him. Boom, Santino, he's killing it, dude. You know, it was uh, it was a shame he couldn't be here today. It was a last minute podcast, but it. when it comes to this bang stuff, um, we to get it out there. Yeah, so this is relevant um, information. So, and here's uh, here's something else we didn't discuss. So, um, the Super Creatine, they got sued for it. Um, they lost the patent. And now they're getting sued because um, third-party companies have come in and done tests, and they have found no creatine at all. If it tastes like that shit, nat- it tastes like shit naturally, like that, without the creatine, without the creatine, I don't know. Well, creatine, I don't think it really has a flavor. I don't think you're gonna it's notice. It's got some kind of the whole, the whole issue with creatine and water has been going on for years, long time. Like it's just. I don't think it's shelf stable in water, no matter what anybody says. Like I haven't found a product where Oof. everybody's like, "Oh my God, this is cr- suspended creatine in water, and it works." So you that, pretty much have to mis- mix it and drink it. It degrades really quick, and it breaks down into creatinine, which is a waste product. That's what when when creatine first got really popular, everybody. So was people are like, going to turn into zombies from drinking. This is what <laughs> you're telling me. That's exactly what I'm. You know not what? Walking you. Dead. <laughs> Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan said some funny stuff, man. He was talking about um, the end of the world, how there's like a reset button every every five thousand years or so, and he was like, "There's some some idiot drinking a Red Bull, fucking <laughs> over there hits the wrong button, and it's a reset button, and it and it makes sense, man. It's like you know we get to some point where we just keep pushing, 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 and we get to the point where you know we're strung out trying to trying to find the next the next invention, and then all yeah. of a sudden. We've messed around with the God particle, dude. Electromagnetic winter of hell. All right, here's a cotton candy one, man. <laughs> I have you never keep that tried devil this. away from me. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it a little bit higher up because I've got no depth perception. Let's see if this works. Yeah, hey, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't bad. <laughs> All right. No, no, don't. You no, I'm just gonna get a bum fight pit. Got You know, I'm gonna try the cotton candy. No way. No. Don't you wish that evil on me? What do you think? He's making a face. I'm really glad I didn't it's taste right. it. He said it's It all tastes right. like liquid cotton candy. It does. It smells better than it tastes. Yeah, I think it's pretty That's good. That's not reassuring. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Time for the unicorn rainbow. Yeah, is that what it's called? And then we got to take a, Then we got to take a break for our sponsors yeah. so they can pay for these $30 of Gummy berry juice we've been drinking. Is that uh, Favatello Construction? Yeah, no. <laughs> so, um, so which one's your favorite so far? You hate all of them. The peach one wasn't horrible, and the the the, the sour heads. Yeah, sour heads. What's this blue and pink scat tie you're about to give me? <laughs> what? What was that word? Shit in Greek. <laughs> uh, it's a unicorn, rain, uh, oh, ra- rainbow unicorn. unicorn. So we've been saying it wrong. So, it, so if this gets popular, everyone's gonna be yelling at us that we didn't have been saying it right. <sighs> this is like the European flavor tutti frutti, which people think it's like all fruit, basically like all the flavors. I think. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Oh, it smells like they're all in there. It smells like bubble gum. It smells like hell. It's definitely 50s, like the original pink bubble gum, man. 
I'm not drinking it. No, you've got to, dude. This is this is this is like fear factor. This, this is, is I'd rather eat a fucking spider. Where's that bag at? That's right there, man. We can roll the dice. We can put it on the wheel if you want. Here, let's no, let's let's get something out of the bag and we'll put it in there and I'll take it like a shot. That sounds good. Uh, are we gonna do that on the second episode? We'll do it the on second the second. We'll, we'll, we'll do it on the second half. Okay, cool. So and and. Do, who who gets to choose? Because there's some nasty shit in that bag. I don't know. We got to get our sponsors, and we'll figure that out. Okay. All right, man. We'll be right back uh, after you hear some uh, some some super cool clips. Oh, wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 